Previously on Clash of Trades Season 4 Regional Tour, six teams battled it out to see who would make it to the championship. Remember, the first two episodes are already out, so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to watch the rest of this racing-themed season. Welcome to the final stop of the Season 4 Clash of Trades Regional Tour. We're going to find out what four finalists make it here at the championship in Kannapolis, North Carolina at the Stuart Haas Race Facility. I'm Jim Bollinger, and this is Clash of Trades. Get ready for the final regionals at the College of Southern Nevada in Las Vegas. Let's meet the final group of teams. How's it going? My name's Ryan Butchantini. Howdy, I'm River Stormo. My name is Leanne Riggs. We're, We're the team, team from, from Ever Community College. College. It's really awesome to represent our school. We're the first team from there to come to this competition, hoping we come back with a win. What's up? My name is Desmond Ferguson. How's it going? I'm Diego McCullough. What's up? My name is Nisio Riego. Hi, I'm Batsana Long. We're the team from Fresno City College. So it's the beginning of the competition. I'm excited to get working with this, see how we can do. Hello, my name is Josiah Geary. Hey, my name is Andrew Leon. Hello, my name is Wyatt Curry. We're, We're the, the team, team from Cuba, Cuba College, College Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Walking off the bus into these doors, I felt like my whole body just tensing up and with excitement, but also with like, oh man, what's gonna happen today? Are we gonna totally blow this thing? Or are we gonna do good? It's so cool that the theme for this is NASCAR because I live and breathe for this stuff. My dream for myself is to um, weld roll cages. Making it to the finals and to the NASCAR facility, that would be a really cool experience. And I could get like a really good insight of how the job scene goes, how everything is handled. This year, the theme of the competition is NASCAR. So the technical drawings we got are to make a throttle body and kind of all the associated components around that. So it has the potential to get bolted on, potentially do a NASCAR or another type of automobile. So in this regional competition, we're being judged on machined parts, welded parts, reverse engineered parts, total project costs, our overall production plan and teamwork. Welcome all, my name is Dan Flick. I'm with College of Southern Nevada and welcome to Las Vegas for the competition. Yeah. We're very excited to host the third regional of the Clash of Trades. Are you guys all excited and ready? Yeah. Today's the day, nervous, anxious, but ultimately ready to go. Good luck competitors, your time starts now. Without this part, this car cannot function. Everything has to be down to perfection. For the first part, I need to make these tools, put them together and put them in the machine, get them touched off, get them ready to go so that we can start cutting these first cuts. We were going 100%, we were slinging chips. So we're starting with getting our program finished up, getting it ready to be machined, loading it into the machine, just verifying everything, making sure everything's set up so we can start running it. We got our operators over there working up, setting up the machine right now for me. Once I got the program ready for them, I'm gonna give them the program so that they're ready to start uh, knocking out these parts. We're all just kind of working together and figuring it out. It's the first time our school's been to this competition, so it's we're, everything's new. We're just figuring it out. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to tackle is the biggest part, sort of the throttle body itself. That'll kind of run and just give us some time to go through, check the other parts, kind of run through our game plan for the rest of the afternoon. And I think we're ready to start making some chips. The hope is that I can get this second op running. Um, finish up the programming, and then when the rest of the parts are running, I'll be welding. The more people we have clocked in, the more time costs. So they're, they're judging it like if it was an actual job. And the more people you have running, the more material you use, stuff like that. So it's very critical that I save as much cost and time to the team so that we can win, hopefully win this thing. My name is Dan Flick from the College of Southern Nevada, CSN. I'm the Executive Director for Advanced Manufacturing Programs. Looking at the project manufacturing and its uh, reach around the country, and it's pretty exciting to have them here. So the history of Las Vegas and Southern Nevada, you don't think of manufacturing, but if you look around the valley, especially in Henderson, Nevada, which is just south of Las Vegas, you know, from the Hoover Dam all the way to the Luxor, there's manufacturing popping up everywhere in the valley. 
It's uh, mind boggling the amount of, of development that's going on here and it's only increasing. You know, our, our school, we've participated in Project MFG a couple of times. Last year, making it to regionals, the year before, we finished second place at the nationals. We hold ourselves very close to this competition. We, we are very proud that we take part in it and that we, we do well. I'm pretty new to this, so I'm only six months into kind of manufacturing and machining. I started off in the military. I joined at 18. Spent 14 years in the Coast Guard, and I was always interested in manufacturing. My father was really involved in small engine production. When you start seeing how things are made, it gives you a totally different level of appreciation to what went into putting that thing in front of you for you to be able to buy. That is really something that blew my mind. Everything's manufactured. It all starts from a design somewhere. Hey, I'm Diego McCullough, I'm from Fresno, and I am the team leader for our team. So this is the ABB Collaborator robot, it's named it's GOFA. What it allows you to do is it collaborates with humans so you can move it around with your hand, uh, teach it where to go, how to move it. Since uh, high school, I've been on the robotics team, building uh, robots you can drive around, do ob objectives with, as well as I incorporated these robots with the CNC machines that you can see all around us right now. They go in, switch the parts out automatically, so there's no need to have an operator around. So this, that, that, that helps the process. When the robot's doing its thing with the machine, you can go and program another machine while the robot's already taking care of one thing and you can take care of another. My, I grew up in a poor family. Welding and manufacturing has always been something that allowed me to live, allowed me to provide for myself and not be a burden to my family. They're excited for me. I've actually, my family all traveled down. They were watching this as I was running back and forth, running programs, uh, machining, and they, they loved it. They loved it. This is my first time ever competing in a welding competition. Pretty much my challenge um, is making sure I disperse my heat properly because aluminum, it does like to heat up a lot. Aluminum, when it gets really hot, not just one area gets hot, the whole thing gets hot. So I wanna make sure I strategically place my welds, make sure I don't weld all in one area, because if I do, this thing will warp. And I don't want it to warp, I want it to stay true and flat. When I put my helmet on, pretty much, um, it's more of like a meditative state for me. It's really calming, it's really peaceful in there, so when I have that helmet on, it's just covered all the way around and it's just blacked out, I'm just laser focused on that piece and it's just simple and easy for me. So I do both welding and machining. Both of them are a passion for me. I enjoy making things with my hands. Both of them are parts of that process. So I worked with my team. We're getting our part for my, for me, done first. So they're working on that. I'm expecting that in the next 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, I should have that part. So that way I can get this done and that'll be one of our major parts out the way. I'm very happy with how our competition is going. It's halfway through the day. We're moving at a good pace and I, I think we're gonna get it all done. So this is our third piece we're working on. We still have the throttle body left, the huge piece, you know. As he said, save the best for last. I'm a little nervous, a little nervous to see how it comes out, but I think, I think he did a pretty good job, so we're gonna see. So we broke apart today and I, I did the wrong tool path, uh, which caused the tool to heat up, break inside the part, and it went all bad, but we got it figured out, corrected it. Hopefully, it probably set us back about five to 10 minutes, i say, and hopefully we can come up with that time by just staying on top of our other things that we need to get done. That's the end of day one. Will these three teams secure their spot in the championship by overcoming the obstacles? Let's find out. We've had some hiccups today, but we're getting through it and we're, we're getting there. We're gonna be okay. River, our programmer now, he's done programming all the parts and he's also our welder. So he jumped into the welding booth and now he's putting together the upper plenum.
cutting close and we're hoping to finish the part and to get it done with. It's been a wild ride and uh, I guess that's part of NASCAR, right? Trying to get it, make it to that finish line and get across the line. And that's what this is all about. We're on the last part. We have all our other parts completed at this point. Getting this part done, it's been a real challenge so far. Long tool paths, make sure everything's correct, accurate, neat. Now it's just putting everything together, refining, and hitting the go button. With only a few minutes left, some of the teams are very confident, while others are scrambling to finish. Will they make it to the championship? Let's find out. Teams, tools down, he stops on, time's up. That's it, we're done. Yeah, we were crunching. I mean, I'm surprised we got this far. Kind of, we were definitely the slow and steady team from the get-go, so it took us a little bit in the morning to really get going, but once we got through our first part, they really started to kind of click off, and I think we picked up momentum as we went, and I think if we had another 10 or so minutes, we may have figured it out and finished the last one. Here we go. It was a little rough. Um, if it was easy, anybody could do it but not everybody can do it. But I think we gave it our best. And, you know, I think we came and did what we came here to do. Yeah. It's a very exciting day. A lot of events happened, but the most important thing was that we got all our pieces here. Some of them are finished. Some of them are close to being finished. We got them done. Hopefully they're good enough to go on to the next round. We had fun here. I think it was, it was a good experience. Just learning and just having fun. Three, two, one. Yeah! Proud. I'm so proud I made it this far already. I'm happy to be here, and if we make it further, that's the best. For me, this isn't just a competition. For me, this is this is life right now. So making it to nationals means the world to me. And that's the end of regionals. 16 teams showed up, and win or lose, they should be proud of their accomplishment. It's in the judges' hands now. Four teams will be chosen to compete in the championship at the Stuart Haas Race Facility in beautiful Kannapolis, North Carolina. These 16 teams really showed up during the regionals and battled it out, but there can only be four to make it to the championship. Well, first off, on behalf of Project Manufacturing, glad you can join us here today. We're very happy you're able to make it to our regional competition. I know you've been waiting anxiously for the results, so uh, how do you think you did? We had a few hiccups, but uh, I think overall we we took our skills there, and uh, you know we did what we could, and you know we got over those hiccups and were able to move forward. I wish we had more time, but if we would have had that 30 minutes, I think we would have finished that part overall. Oh, definitely. We got probably two thirds of the way through the program, and we're like tried to decide this depth of cut's really shallow, and this is going to take way too long. So we tried to repost out something else with, that would go a little quicker. And that kind of turned around to bite us because, so we had to get, eventually just go back to what we started with. Trying to save some time and ended up taking more time. That's too bad. I uh, ran into a couple problems, so don't know what to expect really. <laughs> and not yeah. getting to see other than three other teams is all we get to see. So don't know really right. who's out there. Concerning uh, the people we went, we went up against, I think that I think we did pretty good. Well, I'll, I'll cut to the chase here. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna make it to Nationals this year. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. It was a lot yeah, of fun. Well, you're welcome. If we had another chance, there's a couple of things we would change, but we just didn't really know what to expect. So we did the best we could. It's helped all of our students out. It's helped me out. So thank you for everything you do. We had fun. We did what we could. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take what we learn and grow from it. We do pool all the three regional events together, and uh, only the top four can move on to our nationals. Congratulations. We're going to see you in Charlotte. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Definitely focus on teamwork and staying calm, for sure. Yeah. Huh. You're in it. Huh. Yeah, you made it to, to nationals. <laughs> we'll see you in Charlotte. Go team. Wow. <laughs> to be able to kind of knock it out of the park the first first go around, I think it's going to be huge for the school overall and just us individually. We'll plan to see you at Charlotte. Yeah. Good job. 
there's some some stiff competition. We'll have to practice. <laughs> yep. Definitely back on the horse. <laughs> but we're gonna see you in Charlotte. I'm happy to say. Yes! <laughs> I'm beyond excited. It's a great feeling. I could almost cry. I'm so excited. <laughs> there we go, everyone. These are the final four teams. Autry Tech, Calhoun Community College, Central Alabama Community College, and Everett Community College. They will battle it out here at the Stuart Haas Race Facility in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Join us for the final episode where we find out who takes home the $100,000 prize and we crown the Clash of Trades champion. Thanks for joining us during the regionals. This is the first time we've opened the doors to the film crew. Be sure to comment below and tell us what you think. Clash of Trades season four was made possible by the Gene Haas Foundation, Department of Defense IBAS, Haas Automation, Lincoln Electric Company, Mastercam, Zeiss, Stuart Haas, Mitatoyo, Phillips, and the many trade schools that participated. If you would like to help close the trade worker deficit, go check us out on our website at projectmfg.com. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to watch season four Clash of Trades Championship coming up next.